was just, I think that just came with a lot of practice. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, even when I was just rapping in the earlier years, I've been, I've been trying to sing since like 15. I've been trying to like sing. So this is like 10 year plus process of me trying to sing. Like, so now I just feel absolutely confident in it. And it's like, it's just, it's just a testament of like how much time you put into something. Eventually you just, you don't even look back. And I also have like short term memory when it comes to this. Like, I don't know if you watch football, but like they say that defensive backs should always have short term memory because you're going to get mossed. You're going to get, somebody's going to catch something on you. You got to come back the next play. That's just my mentality with music. Whenever I have a bad day, it, it doesn't hurt me because, or if he, even if people see it, if people are in the studio and they see me have a bad day, I don't waver because like, I know what I'm made of. Like next song you're gonna love. So I don't even care that you don't like this one. Or I don't care that I, I didn't hit that note. Like I know the next note I'm gonna hit. So I don't know, it's just, it comes with practice. If you work hard enough at something, you will be confident in it. And that's the goal. You should work hard enough to the point where you are prepared enough to not even be nervous about it. You know, my dream is to defy the genres and go crazy, like not even be on the R&B stuff anymore. Just get go out of here. So I have to really think about this. I got to think about my most commercial or my most like global songs, like songs that can go global. Let me think. So confused for sure. But I'm trying to think who would be on it. Uh, let me think. That's tough. That's tough. Confused. I've always wanted to work with, um, like, like Justin Bieber for some reason. I feel like I could write for him, and like he could like flow how I wanted to. So I could see him on something like that, like a Confused. Um, I can see Drake. I can see. I can see J Cole on like a drown. I can see Drake on like a spend. You know, so those are all on passion though. That's the crazy part. I can see Drake on like a same too. You know same. So, man, my you know my dream collabs are like people that are like out of this world already. <laughs> but like I feel like that's how my music is, and eventually people will see that. I will be having more releases in the summer around the summertime and then more releases around the fall. So I'll be dropping it steadily, along with people who have me featured on songs. You don't get a lot of Griff Tyler music in 2020, 2020, 2021, sorry. And as far as uh, outside of music, it still kind of has to do with music, but you know, me and my friends are trying to establish ourselves as businessmen and entrepreneurs. So, you know, we have a brand uh, entitled Lost Sound and I'm like, you know, the brand ambassador, like the front artist of it. Uh, you can follow it on Instagram at LXST Sound. And basically we're trying to create a, a umbrella company that can do anything from publishing to label work, to marketing, to like, like an agency for sports and things like that. We're trying to make it like, like Law Sound could do anything. Uh, just a one a one stop shop. So that's what we're working on. You know, it's gonna take some time, but that's what's in the works for us. That's why we just call it a brand, rather than like a specific thing. Um, but outside of music, that's that's what I'm trying to do. Honestly, I'm glad you asked that because I do talk to younger creators and I do give them advice um, because that's what it's all about. You know, passing it on to the next generation and stuff. So make it easier for them. But so if I could tell myself. The things I'm telling them now is um, it's like, don't panic. You know what I mean? Like I used to worry about the future so much and where I would be. And I used to panic a lot and it would affect my creativity and my decision making. So it's more so taking everything a day at a time, but always working, you know, like literally make it simple because when you make it complicated is when you start to get flustered, make it simple. Uh, the fastest way to uh, to point to to from A to B is a straight line. Just make it simple. Like work hard every day and take it a day at a time, and you're gonna receive the fruits of your labor because it only makes sense. It only makes sense if you roll the ball, it's gonna get to that destination. You know what I'm saying? So just make it make make it simple. And if you make it simple, I promise it's gonna work for you. And you just also you just 
it sounds cliche, but you can't give up because if you give up, then why would somebody not give up on you? They're going to just be like, he gave up on himself. So why would I care, you know? So not giving up is a determining factor because all this is meant to test your durability. And, you know, if you're not durable, you wasn't made for it anyway. So I, I tell them that and I'll tell myself that too.